Hey guys, it's your girl Tamika, back again with another hair video. Today I'm going to be demonstrating how I do demi-permanent hair color and a silk press in my hair salon. This customer normally gets permanent hair color done, but I wanted to switch her over to demi-permanent hair color. She is over 75% gray, and so we're going to use the demi-permanent hair color to cover up those gray hairs. Starting with freshly shampooed hair, I went ahead and parted the hair into sections to make it easier for me to be able to apply the color evenly to the hair strands. I'm using Redken Shades EQ Demi Permanent Hair Color along with the processing liquid that goes along with it. And I'm using two bottles. Her hair is very thick. I'm going to be mixing equal parts of developer and hair color into the bottle and I'm going to shake it vigorously until it's well mixed. Now I'm going to apply the color generously to all the areas of her hair where you see the gray needs coverage the most because gray is the hardest color of hair to color. I also like to go on ahead and apply color to the hairline so it can have a good amount of processing time because that's at the front of the hair and it needs as much time as possible to process. So I'll continue on applying the color to the rest of the roots of the hair because as I said before, that's where you see most of the gray. And I'm going to do the same thing in the back of the hair and all over the hair. I'm going to separate and I'm going to apply the color to the areas where I see the most gray. This allows for the color to process a little bit longer in those areas so it can really, really absorb. Now when I'm done with the roots of the hair, I'm going to go on ahead and start applying the color to the mid shaft and the ends of the hair. Making sure I take sections, especially since this customer has really super thick hair. And I'll apply the color generously and work it in. Now that the color is applied, I'm going to work it in thoroughly and I'm going to dredge the color into the hair strands and I'm going to twist it that allows it to really absorb. And now I'll just clip that up and out of the way. And of course we have to put protection around the hairline because she is going to go up underneath the dryer for about 20 minutes to let the color, the color really absorb into the strands and stick, especially since she has a lot of gray. Now that the color is finished processing, I'll rinse, 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 rinse until the water is pretty much clear. And now I'm going to shampoo until the suds are white and free of color. And sometimes I can take two, three, or even four shampoos. And also to make sure the scalp is clean and free of any residual color. Now it's time to condition the hair and I'll put a plastic cap on top of the hair and sit her under the dryer for about 15 to 20 minutes for the deep conditioning. Now it's time to blow dry and flat iron and I'll be using Paul Mitchell Super Skinny as my heat protectant. And I'm going to take some of that product in my hand, emulsify it, and I'm going to spread it all over the hair strands and get it in there really, really super good, making sure to coat everything, the roots, the mid shaft, and the ends. Now I'm going to blow dry the hair on medium high heat, taking small sections and working slow until the hair is completely dry. And I'll keep blow drying in small sections until the entire head of hair is dry and making sure it's 100% dry because it's nothing like doing a flat iron and the hair is slightly wet because it'll send to scalp and we want to be careful of that. So 
So now that I've done blow drying all of the hair, I'm gonna go through and make sure that I don't have any wet spots. So now I'm gonna be flat ironing with small, small sections using the comb chase method. The flat iron is set on 410 degrees. I like to flat iron going along the curve of the head. That way I can get closer to the scalp. For each section, I like to tap twice at the root to make sure the roots get good and straight and drag the flat iron slowly down the shaft using the comb chase method. And I repeat the same process all around the entire head of hair. Tapping the roots and going down the hair shaft using the comb chase method. Again, I'll tap the roots and go down the shaft using the comb chase method. We are almost there, but I just want to stop and just comb through because her hair came out really nice. So I do the same thing for the sides, tapping the roots, and then going down the shaft using the comb chase method very slowly. Now I'm done with the flat ironing part. She has lovely hair, so healthy. Now it's trim time. I'm only cutting off about a half an inch of hair. I don't even think that much maybe a quarter inch. This really is just a maintenance trim. I really didn't have to cut off, but really a dusting. Now I'm just going to tighten up that perimeter a little bit, give it a little bit more shape, and we're good to go. I'm just gonna bump the ends all the way around. A little finishing product to lay down the flyaways and we are all set. 
So guys, thumbs up this video for more videos like this. And don't forget to smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell. That way you can stay updated on all of my hair videos. Thank you so much for your support. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.